what Arsenal did today was inspiring because that was one of the most iconic defensive performances I've seen in the Premier League. I've seen them in the Champions League. My club has won two of them. But that was inspiring. That's one of the most iconic defensive performances I've seen in the Premier League with 10 men at one of the best sides of the world. You can say the best side of the world. That was incredible. And yes, it hurts me to say, but you have to respect Arsenal. And I've been saying on this channel for a very, very long time that if there's any team that could win the Premier League this season, the favourites is Arsenal along with Manchester City. And that's it. But I think again, I'm going at some Arsenal fans who were overreacting after the Brighton draw. The race is over. The season is turned. And that all has a rival. I, you could laugh. I could laugh at Arsenal fans. But even in my heart, I'm a Chelsea fan. I knew they are a real deal. And yes, you can say they might, they're not attackingly really great, but defence is still one of the most important part of football. And this Arsenal attack will find their form. But how good their defence is, how good David Raya has been, it's been absolutely outstanding. The way David Raya has played this season, I've always known him to be a good goalkeeper, but even I did not think he will go at this level. He has been incredible. He literally saved even the second goal City scored, and it could have been one of the greatest Premier League saves ever. He was incredible. Arsenal defence was incredible. And tactically, people will go and say, that was Tony Pulis, Stoke City and that all. I think that is very, very disingenuous to the Arsenal team. That's very disrespectful. And again, if you are saying that, I don't know what you're really saying about the thinking. Because when you go at Etihad Stadium against Manchester City and you try to play them at their game, you're going to get killed. What Arsenal did today is something Real Madrid did last season and they were praised for it. And Arsenal must also be praised because their tactics were spot on. The match could have won for two hours, three hours, four hours. And I think to be really honest, I could not see City score. That was a bit of luck in the end and City in the end, they got escaped from jail, got the point and it's a big point for Manchester City. You should be proud of that because the team kept on trying. But overall, Arsenal was just incredible. And yes, Kevin De Bruyne was not there. It's a massive factor. But Arsenal had no Odegaard. They had no outlet. 10 men on the pitch. They literally could not even get out. And I remember it was 54 minutes and the Premier League was showing a stat that it was 88% possession to Manchester City in the second half. And then it became 91-9. to and I was thinking, 36 minutes left on the clock. Uh, they could not even get the ball out of the box. City had all the possession. I thought, they are going to concede. They are going to concede. They can't keep this going on. But they kept it. And the biggest thing is that they were, there was not even a big Manchester City chance. We can say, ah, how did they miss that? They were that good. They let City have the ball. And when they came to the box, the ball is of 5-4. Five 5-4 four. Five, four formation from Arsenal. It was perfect. When they did press the opposition, they pressed and then City had to again go back to Edison, again go back in the uh, Ruben Diaz. And the only way they allowed City to have shots was from outside the box because they knew Rodri was not there on the pitch. They knew City had no one from outside the box to penetrate. They let them have it. That was a perfect performance and Arsenal City have 11 points from 5 games. I think that's again, they're in a very good position and again, all due respect to Liverpool, it's going to be City and Arsenal competing for the title and getting clean sheet at Atalanta, clean sheet away to Tottenham, clean sheet away to Aston Villa. Clean, uh, getting a point in Manchester City with 10 men, I think it's been a great start. While for Manchester City, again, they're one of the best side in the world. Haaland, he broke his, like in the last two matches against Arsenal, he hasn't scored a goal. He scored a big goal. They started really well. Gundogan hit the bar and City could easily have been two to, uh, at least 2 nil up by the stage Arsenal scored. But Calais Fury, that was an amazing goal. That was one of the best goals you'll see and that changed the game. After that, Arsenal started believing. Gabriel came close to score, missed an easy chance. And City never learned from the warning signals. Kyle Walker left his man Gabriel and Gabriel scored. And again, on Trosser, I will say that's a clear yellow card and he had to be sent off. But again, it's a PG Moss inconsistency. Doku has to be also given the yellow card and he should have been also given a yellow card. So that's where is the frustration with the referee. But that doesn't excuse Trossard from the stupid thing he did there. So I think overall, putting that things aside is a very, very big point for Arsenal. And the title race is really shaping up to be a big one. Do you agree with me on this? Let me know in the comments and like and subscribe.